The world watches and waits to see when and how Israel responds to Iran's attack. Iran will face the consequences for its actions. We will choose our response accordingly. World leaders are asking for de-escalation. The U.S. reportedly expects an Israeli response to be limited. Iran has already threatened Israel that a counterstrike would be met with more aggression. Iran's president told the Iranian student news agency, we categorically declare that the smallest action against Iranian interests will certainly be met with a severe, widespread, and painful response against any perpetrator. The world is on fire, and um, history will judge us by our actions. House Republicans will split up foreign aid into separate bills in an effort to get defense funding to Israel quickly. Everybody's going to have to pick a side this week. Do you stand with Israel or do you condone the terrorists and the largest state sponsor of terrorism, uh, Iran? Israel's other focus remains Gaza. Death to America! And in the U.S., pro-Palestinian protests on Monday jammed traffic and led to arrests in different corners of the country. Protesters in places including San Francisco, Chicago, New York, and Miami called for a ceasefire for the war there. A small number of House Republicans could derail getting aid to American allies, and they just might try it. Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene has threatened to force a vote to try and remove the House Speaker over some of the foreign aid, namely the Ukraine aid. And now Kentucky Republican Thomas Massey says he will support her in that vote. House Speaker Mike Johnson called it absurd. In Washington, I'm Matt Gelka.